Happy Wednesday! Today we will be reading about Myron. There's his picture. Myron had big ears. He was elected class president. The children in Miss Jewel's class expected him to be a good president. Other presidents were good speakers. Myron was even better. He was a good listener, but he had a problem. He didn't know what a class president was supposed to do. So he asked, what am I supposed to do? It's a difficult job, said Miss Jules, but you can do it. You must turn on the lights every morning and turn them off at the end of the day. What, asked Myron. As a class president, you must learn to listen, said Miss Jules. I'll repeat myself only one more time. You must turn on the lights every morning. I heard you the first time, said Myron. It just doesn't sound like much of a job. It certainly is, said Miss Jules. Without light, I can't teach and the children can't learn. Without light, only you can give us the light. I think it is a very important job. I guess so, said Myron. He wasn't convinced. Here, let me show you how to work a light switch, said Miss Jules. I already know how, said Myron. I've been turning lights on and off all my life. Very good, said Miss Jules. You'll make a fine president. Myron wanted to be the best president ever, but it was such an easy job, he thought, that anybody could do it. When school let out that day, Myron stayed behind. He turned out the lights by flicking the switch down. Excellent, said Miss Jules. On, his way, on the, his way home, Myron heard a horrible noise. First there was a loud screeching, then a sharp squeal, a roaring engine, and then the faint sound of a cr girl crying. Myron ran to see what happened. Dina was bent over in the middle of the road. What's the matter, said Myron. My dog Pugsy was hit by a car, Dina cried. Who did it, asked Myron. I don't know, Dina sobbed. They sped away. Well, that's not important, said Myron. We've got to try to save Pugsy. Pugsy lay unconscious in the street. Myron carefully picked her up. He carried her two miles to the vet. Dina cried at his side. Don't worry, Dina, said Myron. She'll be all right but he really wasn't sure. He gave Pugsy to the vet, Dana, and Dana walked home, then walked home by himself. Dana was so upset that she forgot to thank him. Myron didn't mind. He thought was, he thought that was his, what being class president was all about. The next morning, before he went to school, Myron went to Dana's house. Pugsy was there. She seemed all right. Dana petted her. Pugsy licked her face. See, Myron, she's all right, said Dana. The vet said you brought her in just in time. Hi, Pugsy, said Myron. He patted her. Pugsy bit his hand. I guess she doesn't know you, said Dana. She was unconscious yesterday when you saved her life. Dana's mother put some medicine and a band-aid on Myron's hand. Then she drove the children to school. They were late. They ran up the stairs to Miss Jules' class. The room was completely dark. It's about time you got here, Myron, said Miss Jules. We have no lights. Why didn't somebody else turn, just turn them on, asked Myron. Because you're class president, said Miss Jules. Show Stephen how to work the lights. From now on, he will be class president. Myron showed Stephen how to turn on the lights. He flicked the switch up. At the end of the day, Myron showed Stephen how to turn the lights off. He flicked the switch down. After a week, Stephen finally caught on. He made a good president. The lights were on every morning. Myron, who was president for only a day, was the best president in the history of Wayside School. It was just that nobody knew it. All right, tomorrow we'll read about Marcia. See you guys tomorrow.